Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whoop and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. In this episode we're going to be taking a look at getting the other satellite uh, into orbit. Uh, why am I on the station? Nope, we need a new one. And we're going to try to get this thing into that orbit that we need as far as the satellite is concerned. And we're going to throw all the bits and bobs and, and little things on it. But um, I'm going to take a look at trying to see if, if I can be sneaky about this. I'm going to go to the tracking station. And we have our first satellite out here. Yes. And our second satellite is... A little bit further out so what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to be a little bit sneaky and I'm going to try to send the upgrades that I need to on this expedition for the um, satellite I'm going to try to send it with this thing so I could probably rendezvous with this craft the first satellite that we ever put out here and uh, see if we can't upgrade its its stuff you know remember back in the day uh, Remember back when we built it, we can go ahead and fly this. As if you can remember, we did put the uh, docking port on here so we could actually upgrade it if we needed to. Which, you know, this thing still has the little bit of fuel and everything on it, which is awesome, awesome. But as you can see, it doesn't have any relay antennas. So if we can uh, update it with the relay stuff be awesome so we're going to head back to the the space center and we're going to try to design this as best as i can uh hopefully i can get what i need on it because i got to remember that the parts that i need actually have to have uh, rcs so they can be put into place so if i can remember that it shouldn't be too difficult so let me get to building and uh See you on the other side. Well, I think I got it. <clears throat> I'm just going to send up two satellites. <laughs> Basically, uh, I just hope that when I disconnect one of these that uh, they don't break. Um, that's that's the only thing I'm, I'm afraid of is that this intersection here is going to wind up causing them to explode but uh, I'm gonna hope for the best I did offset this one just a little bit so it wasn't smushed smushed together and I'm just hoping up this is enough thrust to get it into space and get it to where it needs to go the only way to figure that out is to try it so here we go this is the test launch and depending on how it goes the ultimate launch the final launch so let's put some of these on here and keep it from busting on the ground and always remember check your staging so those go those go those go yep those then be oh, will be released and then this and this can fire at the same time so save it let's go oh you know what I'm forgetting that's what it is I had to build this thing twice so let's revert flight back to vehicle assembly I have actually forgotten to put uh, the main key ingredient that I was main mainly focusing on last time let's grab this and let's put a advanced reaction wheel in there there we go now save it and as you can see, I named it Twins because it's appropriately named because it's sending up two satellites. So I may just leave that satellite up there. I don't even think I can bring it back back to Kerbin. But uh, I'm just going to leave it up there and then I'm just going to, you know, send this one as fully fledged as it is up there and hopefully get it close to where that one's at. Um, so, yeah, let's let's just try this. Hopefully it works, save it, and remember always to check your staging again, because changing one part sometimes will change that dramatically. So it looks like it's all good. Let's go. Mm 
Alright, SAS on. Throttle to full. Oh, yeah, I see something already. Remember to, to keep your eye out for anything suspicious while you're getting ready to launch. And I spotted the fact that these rocket boosters were dangling. So, let's strut them up. When you see parts that are just, you know, free falling and free hanging, and they, they, they tend to cause problems, struts, they're cheap, an inexpensive way to make sure that your structure is stable. Listen to me, it sounds like I'm a, I'm on a, I'm the strut man, be like, yes, I'm the strut salesman, the Kerbal, Kerbal strut salesman. All right, physics activate. Looks good, looks good. SAS on, throttle to full. Here we go. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work so let's add some uh, some Delta wings to this thing I had four of them hopefully that will stabilize it out just a little bit sometimes just adding the wing helps other times you actually have to go into more desperate measures or more extreme action and actually put like canards or uh, ailerons on here. So here we go. Throttle to full. Attempt number two. Here we go. Start laying it over some more. Hopefully, I'm not doing it too fast. Go ahead and put it at 90 degrees. shut that engine off I'm pretty sure that I'm yeah I'm way up here so let's make a maneuver node speed up there we go and where's our other satellite it's right there okay so we need to get it sped up just a little bit and just because we we had a messed up launch our uh, uh, eccentricity or eccentric orbit is probably going to cause us some issues but now that we're in space I don't think it will um, hopefully we have enough fuel we can we can correct it once we get further away from from out here so we can go ahead and deploy this here we go I sh probably should have added another couple of reaction control wheels because it looks like I will actually need it. So I'm wondering if I can ch access this. I mean, I can. And then I want to, I think it's anti-normal. No. Nope. 
whatever it is i'll just i'll fix it when i get there i mean that leveled it out just a little bit so it's not too bad and we have to fix it over the other part of it over here so we can tilt it back out so 31 second burn and that's not going to be the case because this stage back here is almost out of fuel so I say we start burning about uh, 45 seconds because this engine is not nearly not nearly as powerful yeah and then that's gonna let go yeah it will maybe I should have put another couple of these on there that probably would have helped so let's speed up to 45 seconds Forty-five seconds. I'm now. I'm eyeballing this, and I'm just guessing. I don't know if it's actually going to be true, but I'm going to make sure that I'm better safe than sorry. So, forty-five. Here we go. Start burning in that area, and there we go. Estimated burn one minute. question is though are we going to get it yeah we're not even on the other side of the maneuver node so we may get it And I'm curious to know if, if me being lopsided on the top here is what caused me to get into this massively eccentric orbit. But it looks like we're going to. And it looks like we'll have enough fuel to spare, so that's that's good. That's good. And we just got to get it out here. That's going to be fun. Once you get into orbit, it's not too hard. Everything else becomes trivial. It's just the fact of getting into orbit. That's, that's the tough part. So, in spirit of things, I'm actually going to just keep it going we, we are in orbit now so I'm just going to keep this going cut that off I'm going to keep this going it this this node to meet up with the satellites area Actually, I probably could just put it, put a new, brand new satellite out here to begin with. Let's see. Make sure we got some fuel. Yeah, we're doing good on fuel. And stop. There we go. And then once we get out here, I should be able to correct. Should be able to correct my uh, eccentricity. Uh, I need to go down. So let's target target that, so that way I can get the ascending and descending nodes. So that way, because it's in a perfect orbit or relatively thereof, so I, I have something to to base my my judgment on. Four point six, five point one. So if I fix it here, so let's just cancel this and start a new one. Let's do at ascending, and I want to bring this down, there we go, and I want to push it out just a little bit. 
I don't want to intersect with it. I made I changed my mind in this situation. I'm just gonna leave that there. It's just gonna float in space forever. Eventually, once I get like an SSTO or or you know where I can build a massive space plane, that's when I'll bring something that I could fly back to Kerbin and not waste tons and tons of money. So yeah, I'm just gonna wait until that happens. But until then, we we always needed another uh, another thing out here anyway so might as well so I'm gonna put it out here in this this orbit here and then once we get that laid you know drop it off and then we're gonna sit there and shoot the rest of it out to this orbit here it's gonna take a while so let's start speeding stuff up do I need to you know what no no satellites don't have to be in perfect orbits it's better if it's off anyway because that way it can get angles that the other satellites that we have don't get so let's just warp out to and I want to get to the retrograde marker and I want to do a burn we're at 2 million here, so I want to get that one to as close as 2 million as possible. Actually, just as long as it's over a million, I'll accept that. So that way it can boost a signal out to any of the other planets. Because it goes in, grabs a signal, and then moves out. So here's the moment of truth. I'm going to F5 this. Here's the moment of truth. Since these things are connected, I want to make sure that they don't break. So I'm going to go ahead and... Decouple. Crossing fingers don't break. It didn't break. So let's switch to it and get it back under stability. Keep it from rotating. There we go. So I'm going to extend the solar panels on it. That way it's got plenty of juice. There we go. And it's got stuff for maneuvering later if I decide to, to move it. And let's go ahead and plop open the... Extend the antenna. There we go. And voila! Before this one, other this other ship gets out of uh, out of range of us, switch back to it. So that's one satellite down. Now we can plot a course to get the other one. Since we're in a slightly eccentric, you know, orbit with that, it's not so bad. So we can actually intersect with it. maneuver node I want to speed up like really bad speed up and I want to unset target thank you and while we're here we can actually turn the orbit the way it needs to be and ooh, I need to slow down oh. slow increments use the mouse wheel if you have to Is that about right? No, oh, it needs to go just a little bit more. Oh, other way. Should be good. We'll adjust later. 
So it's about a 30 second, uh, 36 second burn. I just gotta make sure that when we we take off, that uh, we don't we don't uh, hit that one. And that one's going off in that direction, and it's fur getting further and further away. So there's no fear of that. There's been times, trust me, there's been times when I've played by myself that uh, I let something go and I let it free, full, free fall in front of me and then I was like, okay, I need to make the burn and then boom. So it's over there. So I have no worries of hitting it. So with 36 seconds, I'll speed up towards it a little bit better. So 16 seconds-ish. 17 seconds. Let me take a look at our gas. Oh, we got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. And 17, burn. Oh, this thing is off, off kilter now, so... It's wanting to pull and push and pull and push and I'm, I'm constantly keep it keeping it on the blue marker I just gotta remember to st stop when it gets done Ugh. there we go is that perfect that's about as perfect as I'm gonna get it all right But I'm going to try to keep this tank as long as physically possible. Because this is going to keep us from having to use this tank. So, let's, uh, let's warp out to here. This is going to be the fun part here. So we're on the, we're on the, we're basically the same. It's just a little bit off. So let's speed up, get, get this. Let's see, what is this? 32 million. And this one's 31 million. So I want to get this one up to 32 million. go 32 million 31 million that's fine and what is this one out here 34 million I think we have some margin for error but we can fix it as we as we get it but I've noticed something that we've we've lost track of and I'm trying to find it it's not in, in the atmosphere anymore. There we go. The Sun Orbiter. Since this one's going to take a while to get around to here, roughly uh, seven days, what I'm going to do is, uh, after I make this burn, which is in three hours, I'm actually going to switch to the Sun Orbiter because it finally got out of Kerbin's atmosphere, and in now it is now orbiting the Sun, and we can get all that nice, tasty science from the Sun. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do, and that's a good way to wrap up the episode too, if you don't, add, if you, if I have to say so myself. Uh, are you out of electrical power? Yes. Oh boy. So, what's going on? I, for some reason, do not have access to... I have access to nothing up here. What in the world's going on? Um... Okay. It won't let me open the solar panels. That is unfortunate. Um, 
Um, I guess what I'll have to do is I'll just have to, to swing around once we get closer. Swing it as I turn the engines on and, and hopefully that works. So we can get a little bit closer to it. According to this, this is going to be a seven second burn. Because when we're out so far away from the planet, you're slow, slow. As you can see, I'm 137 meters per second. That is really, really slow. So any adjustment made out here is is calculated in, in droves and in, in ten and hundreds of fold for closer to the planet. So seven seconds, uh, I'm actually going to start burning a lot, uh, probably start burning about five, four, four or five seconds. And we're going super, super slow. All right, here we go. And I'm not going to go like full power from the beginning. I'm actually going to uh, just like tap it. I have no control over this ship. What? Um. Uh... Why am I don't... Oh, okay. So apparently I'm... Uh, why don't I have control? Oh, is it because of the antenna? I'm too far away. Are you serious? Oh. Well, that's that. I mean, it's not going to fall back into Kerbin's orbit. It's not going to crash. So there's nothing I can do with this right now. So let's go back to the tracking station, finish up what we plan on doing. Let's go to the Sun Orbiter. Let's fly that bad boy. Let's get that nice tasty science. Hopefully I, it's got communications back with, uh, with Kerbin. It doesn't look like it does. Oh wait, yes, yes it does, yes it does. Let's grab it before we, we lose this communication. So, do open materials bay. 50 science. We only get 24 of it, but that's okay. Send it. Transmit data. Let's see, what else do we have? Open our, our little bay here. Let's see, barometer, log pressure. Send it. Open mystery goo. 8 science. Not too bad. Send it. Can we do a crew report with this? No. Okay. So, can we do another pressure? It will never see the light of day. Not until we hit, like, Duna or something. But we did get a few pieces of science. But, uh, yep, yeah, that's that. Uh, I hate to say that we lost track. We lost, like, contact with that boy out there the twin oh i can't believe we lost contact with it <sighs> oh well but uh we'll eventually get get it to where we can get back you know, open the solar panels and and oh you know why we lost contact with it because i let it die it is dead D-E-D -D dead. I don't know any other way to fix that, though. Other than send a Kerbal out here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Load my quick save. Before I took him apart. Alright. So, I'm going to leave that episode here. <clears throat> 
and we'll come back and we'll redo what we just did. Sounds sounds bad and sounds obnoxious, but uh, I want to make sure this is done right. And luckily enough, quick saves are, are the way to go. So thank you everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.